God, Jesus, bless this message in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all, we'll be doing a little bit of uh, videos up here in my bedroom for the next <laughs> few weeks. Because I sure can't get upstairs, so uh, thank y'all for praying for my foot, y'all. You know, it's weird. I talked to my, my oldest sister called me tonight, tonight, the oldest one. And the middle sister, we texted a little bit today. And my middle sister almost cut her thumb completely off just like a week or two ago. My oldest sister broke her little toe. It's broke right now. My brother hurt his back and my foot's broke. She said, what's going on with us kids? I said, I don't know. God's doing a move. I don't know what he's doing. Just persevere. Persevere. Endure. Keep going. All right. So anyway, I can't get upstairs, y'all. I'm sitting here in this wheelchair and this is where it's going to be for the next six to 12 weeks. But we're going to hang. We're going to do it. Nothing going to stop me. Satan, you ain't going to stop me. I'm going to endure, persevere, and still love God. Okay, so we're in. You see the days we're living in right now. Jesus, bless this message in Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. God knows what he's doing, y'all. You just got to trust him. Be steadfast. Stay there. The day of the Lord is coming, and we're watching the time. You know, read Ezekiel 38. But before Ezekiel 38... Matthew 24, you're going to hear wars and rumors of wars, and you're going to see earthquakes and peasants and famines and all this stuff like we're seeing now. This could possibly be just a prelude to Ezekiel 38, what we're seeing today. Okay, so we're in that time right now that Jesus told the prophets to look for. Okay, don't try to say, figure it out. Just try to make sure your walk with God is right. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless. That's what we are to be looking at ourselves about. Or do you have spot? Are you blameless before God? You know, that's what we should be looking at. And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Also, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, which are in some things hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction, as they, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. You, therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware lest you fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked, but grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. So there's going to be a lot of people in these last days twisting a lot of stuff up, man. Because they're not dependent on the Holy Spirit. They're going to joke and mock about the second coming of Jesus Christ. The day of the Lord. We're in Second Peter. They're going to joke and mock and laugh and, and scoff and all that stuff. And it'll tell you in Second Peter chapter 2 about identifying false teachers. Okay, go read chapter 2 of Second Peter. The Bible says that they're going to, uh, these false teachers right there, chapter 2, they're going to, all these people uh, in the ministry, they're there because they're called by God, a lot of them, and they want to serve God. Well, somehow they've fallen away. You know, some of them are counterfeits in the ministry too, and some of them are actually doing, some of us are actually doing what God has us here to do no matter what. Okay, and then there's some that's got their own personal agendas out there, y'all. So you to follow along in the word of God is critical. No matter who you're listening to, it's critical that you pick your Bible up and start pausing. I had one girl tell me it takes her three days to watch one of my videos because she literally pauses and studying. Yep, so, such as you should do with everybody. Some of these false preachers and teachers are out there to obtain power or gain something for themselves. And their message might have started out as truth. I've seen a couple of them preachers, y'all. Their message started out as truth. The motivation, though, is fleshly rather than spiritual seeking personal gain rather than glory for the kingdom of God. Lots of that out there. Okay, so there's a doomsday the Lord speaks of. There's a doomsday. For these false teachers, false preachers, and for those of you that aren't spending your time in the word and finding out the truth of his word yourself. There's going to be a day of judgment for false teachers and for everybody who rejects the truth of Jesus Christ for a lie. If you're accepting a lie, 
You have, there's no reason for you to accept a lie, y'all. There's no reason. Just because you're listening to somebody that you like to listen to, and you're not picking up your Bible and reading it, when you stand before God, he's going to say, that's, hey, I'm going to judge that teacher and preacher on what they taught you, but I'm going to judge you because you just listened to what they said and you didn't study the word yourself. That's your fault. Okay, you can't blame it on somebody else. You have to know the word of yourself. Judgment is coming on this earth, y'all. Judgment is coming on this earth. But as in the day of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Just like it was, like it was back then. God knows how to deliver his people from the judgment. You understand? This present world is filled with corruption, y'all. Evil, decadence, and spiritual deception. But it's coming to an abrupt end when God will judge it and deliver his people. These false teachers and preachers are going to be dealt with, okay? But they'll mock at you. You'll hear them mocking out there. These end time false teachers will mock and joke about the second coming of Jesus Christ, y'all. Tell you there's no hell. And also, an unbelieving mankind is going to ridicule the idea of Jesus' return, y'all. Peter reminds us that with God, one day is like a thousand years, right? And, and that God is being very patient in order to give everybody an opportunity to be saved. Okay, he's being patient. Understand that. But without question. Oh, Jesus is coming again just like he promised. The Lord's return, y'all, is going to be sudden and unexpected. Read Matthew 24, 43. Pause your video. Also read Luke 12, 39. Okay, you should have paused your video and read that. The Lord's return is going to be sudden and unexpected. Sudden, sudden. All true believers, y'all, will be looking forward to the promise of his return. Even though some people will make fun of that idea. He's coming. When Jesus Christ returns, there will be a great cosmic meltdown, which he showed me the past over the past year and a half. There will be a cosmic meltdown in which the heavens will be dissolved with fire. And the new heavens and earth will be revealed. The timing of the Lord's return, y'all, is directly related to the condition and activity of the church, which is us. I want you to go ahead and read 2 Peter chapter 3 for all that. Read 2 Peter chapter 3. All right, y'all, just be ready. Be ready. He'll tell you, be steadfast. Read, go on and read chapter 3. Be steadfast. Let me see. Therefore, beloved, look forward to these things. Be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless. That's what he wants me and you to do. Be found without any spots. Be found blameless before God. Even when stuff like this happens. And you can't do what you're normally used to do. I can't get her. I can't go to do nothing, man, because of stupid foot. And I'm on the go all the time. It's kind of, I got to figure out another way to do this here with all y'all. Okay, God slowed me down a bit. I feel to save my life because I probably was getting ready for a heart attack. Okay, but I'm still going to keep on preaching this word right here in this bedroom. I'm still going to do my individual Google Meets with you guys right here from my bedroom. Your phone calls, all of it. Ain't nothing going to change y'all. Nothing except from sitting my butt down a little bit longer. That's all. But he's coming, and I'm going to make sure I'm found without spot or wrinkle. I, I, I've, I've been with Jesus, y'all, and I was in that barren state where I had no fruits on my tree. I didn't even have a tree. When I was with Jesus, y'all, I was in the desert in an empty barn, barren, very barren, and he let me know it was barren. Kim, this is, your, this is what I have you on earth for. You shouldn't be in the desert where it's empty and barren. And your barn that I assigned to you should be full of sheep. But there was nothing in it. Now, this time, y'all, this time when I stand in front of Jesus Christ, my barn is going to be full of all you sheep. Full that I have helped lead to, motivate to, and help guide you through until he comes back. That's what I'm here for. Broken foot and all. Don't matter. All right. So... There you go. We got Google Meets tomorrow night, which is Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come. Forsake not assembling yourselves together. 
We do it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. If you can't come to all, pick one. Okay? Look on the website, JesusDoers.com. You can also get your witnessing t-shirts there. You can uh, check out Igor's World News there on the World tab section. Stuff we can't put on here. Uh, you can see what we're doing, uh, me and you, what we're all doing in Africa every month. And thank those of you for just helping. We are Jesus Doers. You know what? God bless each one of you. And I pray for you guys all the time. And I know God hears my prayers. No doubt about it. And answers them too. And many of you know it too. How many of y'all I prayed over and you called me the next day and said God healed you from it? It's not me. It's the Lord. It's because when we are diligent, diligently serving God to the best of our ability with everything we got, He answers your prayers, y'all. When you pray, study, read, fast, and do the Word from your heart, He answers your prayers. Understand that. When you disobey Him, He don't even hear you. Okay, he didn't leave you, but he don't hear you. So don't walk in disobedience to God, y'all. I encourage you to obey our God in everything. All right, thank you all. Anything you need is in the description or JesusStewards.com. Thank you all for your prayers and your kind words. There's a bunch of y'all in my last three videos. Obviously, you've seen me many times, but I've never even heard of you. So thank you for spitting a comment out to me. I appreciate that. I care about my people, y'all. I spent a lot of time with y'all, a lot of effort with y'all. All right, God bless you all. Thank you for your prayers.